want to start today with a, um, a, uh, by addressing the test anomaly that occurred on April 21st uh, this year. And um, please keep in mind, this is still very early in the investigation. Uh, the investigation is led by both SpaceX and NASA. Both teams are carefully uh, reviewing the telemetry data. Uh, here's what we can confirm at this point in time. Uh, at the test stand, we powered up Dragon, and it uh, powered up as, uh, as expected. We completed tests with the uh, Draco thrusters. The Draco thrusters are the smaller thrusters that are also on uh, on Dragon 1 and the, the Cargo Dragon. Um, we fired them in two sets for each, each for five seconds, and that went very well. And then just prior before we wanted to fire the Super Draco, um, there was an anomaly, and the vehicle was destroyed. Uh, there were no injuries. Uh, SpaceX had uh, taken all safety measures um, in, prior to this test, as we always do. Um, and because this is ground test, we have a, a high amount of data, a huge amount of data from the vehicle and the ground sensors. But it is too early to confirm any, any cause, whether probable or root. Um, but um, the, the, the initial data uh, indicates that the anomaly occurred during the activation of the Super Draco system. Uh, that said, we're looking at all possible issues, and the investigation is ongoing. Uh, we have no reason to believe that there is an issue with the Super Draco themselves. Uh, those have been through about 600 tests um, at our test facility in Texas, and you also know about the paddleboard. We did some hover tests, so there was a lot of testing going on on the Super Draco. We continue to have high confidence in that uh, particular thruster. And um, as you mentioned already, uh, as Crew Dragon is built upon the heritage of Cargo Dragon, but these are different spacecraft. Um, Dragon does not use Super Draco and its propellant systems. Uh, we have looked at all the common links between the two spacecraft. Uh, we had viewed that and we approved um, for flight. We approved them for flight by both teams, NASA and SpaceX, in common. Um, I also want to point out CR-17, that spacecraft has flown a CRS-12 already, uh, which means it has been tested very well, like flight, basically. Um, yeah. Again, I'd like to reiterate, the anomaly occurred during a test, not during a flight. Um, that is why we test. If this has to happen, um, I'd rather it happens on the ground um, in the development program and uh, I believe what we learned from this test will make us uh, basically a better company and the uh, and 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 Dragon two at the end a better vehicle a safer vehicle, and uh, so we will take the lessons learned from this and uh, I'm convinced this will help us to ensure that Crew Dragon is the uh, one of the safest human spaceflight 